Hello folks, it's me, Pixel Plume, and welcome back to another episode of Mother 3 Line. It's episode 36, by the way. In the last episode, we completed chapter 5, got rid of the Mr. The Generator or whatever. Mr. Facade fell to yet another glorious death. We'll probably see him again, to be fair, but um, uh, yeah, we really fell off the Thunder Tower because it totally exploded, and I don't know, I'm really excited because chapter 6 is going to happen, I don't know how much to say. Let's just jump right into it. So we're done saving. We're gonna start the chapter. Sunflower Field. Hinamari. Hinamari no hana. If you know where that's from, I commend you. Do I though? Shh. Oh, look at that! The flowers, they're so beautiful! <gasps> we can move in them! So here we are. We can't run. We got, we got a fever. Is this the right way to be going? Uh oh. Where is everyone? I guess that's not the way to be going. I guess we gotta keep going. Forward, not backwards. Forward. <gasps> the music though! That's so... It's so exciting. I wonder where we could be going. Is there something behind this meaning? What could it be? <gasps> we can move forward too? Oh, look at that. For memory! Sunflowers, aren't they beautiful? Just scatter across and be free and merry. Oh my gosh. Flowers. Is this not the way either? No. This is. Such a beautiful field of flowers though. It's been a while since we've seen something so beautiful like this. But it must be sad for Lucas thinking about it, you know? They symbolize, perhaps, something else. Lucas! This music, though, it's so beautiful! Memories of his mother, eh? They were her favorite flowers, to be fair. <gasps> I heard Boney! Come here, boy! <gasps> Aw, he's just alone in the grass. Don't cry! We're here. We're here for you, pal. <gasps> Aw, Boney. It's good to see you, man. Good to see a buddy old pal, old Boney old bud. I got a little quiet there because I was just a little shocked to see her all of a sudden. It's like, ah, oh. all right. I guess that's how we're doing it. But um, <gasps> Bony, what? Do you see mom again? She does. Don't leave mom. There must be something behind. What is going on, Bony? Don't run off. Come on. I know you're excited, but Lucas can't run. Lucas can't run flowers, come on. Alright. Where'd Boney go? It's really creepy, the white outline though, you know, thinking about it. It's, it's very freaky. Cause like, they're usually bold in like this black outline. Mom, come back. Mama, come back! Where are we though? Oh. Where did Boney go? Boney didn't jump off, did you? Those are clouds, you cannot stand on clouds. Alright. Oh. oh no. Lucas, why? 
<laughs> Which is why. Mom's not here anymore, don't you know that? Oh, oh. It's old man West and old man out. What's up this old man party? <gasps> Bony! <laughs> and then there we go. There we are. Sup. He <laughs> just fell. The seven needles. Ah, chapter seven. Ah. Is this chapter seven? What? You just started chapter six, though. Okay. Okay. Nice. Ah, well, we finished a chapter. There you go. But, um, chapter seven already begins. All right. I see how it is. You know, just enjoy a heartfelt moment. Maybe I missed something back there. But he's really asleep. At least he doesn't seem hurt. Old man Wes. It's been a long time, hasn't it? All right. The dingy shack. Look at, look at us. Bony, don't be sad. I'm up. I'm up. <laughs> Don't be sad. Oh, you're finally awake. Don't worry, Bone is a tip-top shape, too. But where's Kumatori and Duster? The LP team. The, the squad. We need a squad back. Don't be sad. I know this place is gross, but... Alright. Hello. In a dream I had, he now told me to pile hay in a spot right away. What? She saved your lives. It's strange. He now appeared in Alex's dreams. And told him to pile hay at that one spot. Then the real world, right out of the blue, you two fall right into the pile. It's as strange as strange can be. Mom really is looking up for us. You know, when things are a doubt, your mom will always be there for you, and that's nice. I forgot about you. Hello. Old man. Shave your game, Shunny? Oh, it's been a long time. So we're not in the Thunder Tower anymore. Chapter 5. We're in Chapter 7. Old Man's Paradise. Jeez. It's been a long time. Alright. Shaving. Oh. Hello, Uncle. Or Grandpa, whatever it is you are. I forget. It's been a long time. Say, was Duster with you? He was with us, but I don't know where he is now. Ah, I thought so. But... I doubt there's any need to worry. I'll let Wes know. Lucas, it seems you've met one of my Magipsy friends. They may not look like it, but they're trustworthy. They may be able to help you out. So I guess we're going to go to the Magipsy place now? So I guess that's where we're headed off to next. Hello! Oh, are you all better now? I'm trying not to be so reckless anymore, okay? Thanks, I just fell from the sky, you know. It happens. It's good to see the people from Tasmanly, but none! Oh, you too, Lucas. <laughs> it's good to have everyone back, even though they're they're kind of mean still. The pin the tail on the leaf, kind goes sweep, and the hokey pokey. I've heard of those. Um, they're a classic. They're a classic. Yes, your your grandma already beat you to the point. What have we got going on right now? <gasps> Bony, what? What's that? Bony, what are you doing? Come back here, boy. But before we do that. I wonder if there's still thunder bombs back here. Thunder bombs, yes, they're still back there. All right, so we gotta get catch up with Bony over there. I love that the thunder bombs will always be there no matter what. That's hilarious to me. Oh, what is this commotion going on? Oh, jeez, jeez, what are you doing? Stroke, stroke, stroke. This old man clearly his hobbies and interests different from regular people. She has tie him up or what? He is being he smells like the forest. I think he should go back there where he belongs. Well, that's a little rude of you, is it not? This strange girlish, boyish, girlish person has been rolling around here all tied up. I don't know what to do, so I'm just standing here and doing nothing. Just like everyone else. She's asking for help, but the only thing I can think of is to stand her up. What should I do? Should I stand her up? People are dumb. They're dumb. If we cut her up, she'll be free, right? But what if she goes crazy and hurt people like we, if we do? Can I say something completely off topic? Uh, sure. I picked this drawer up knob up one day, but I was irritated by so I threw the east as far as I could. I wound up dislocating my shoulder as a result. Actually, no, I was just thinking about the last part. Haha, <laughs> you're dumb. Bony! Alright, I gotta help you, Magipsy lady person thingy. Mm, oh, Ionia! Oh my god! Whoa, he's a fish! Oh, I undid the gag on my own! Oh, I just moved my mouth up and down like. So, and slowly slipped it off. Oh, holla. I'm wonderful. 
I hate to be a bother to be stabbing you up. Sure thing. There you go. You did it. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. I don't know what happened. I was minding my own business taking off my makeup when suddenly I was physically assaulted. Oh, jeez. Oh, when an artifact was time to be attacked. Well, that's just awful. Oh, my. <gasps> You're that boy I met the hot spring the other day. Oh, right. We shared water together. It seems the tie threads of fate have led us to each other again, hearts. From that moment I realized you could use psi powers, I knew that there was something between us. I'm batting my eyelashes at you. You're undoubtedly one of the one that we magic sees. Have been waiting for I just want to point out that those guys are still stroking them saying, Stop! You're in front of a lady. Or a magipsy, whatever. We've been waiting for for tens of thousands of years, right? Can you sense it too? Can't you feel the time drawing near the game? I don't want it to end. It's okay if you can't. I'm not entirely sure about it either. Wait a second, if I was attacked, could it mean I Aioli was alright? I wish I could fly there, but I can't without my makeup on. All I can do is walk on land like a human. How tragic! Oh, I love this person already. Oh well. I'll walk if I must. And you? You're coming with me. Come on, let's go to Aeolia's house. Okay? Alright. Marvelous! Let's make some magic happen together. I mean that in a nice way. Oh. To define nice. Aeolia's part of our party. Not Aeolia. Ion Ionia. You can reach Aeolia's house easier by going straight up this river, but... Hold on, you guys. I have no idea what you're talking about just now. But it's up the river you need to go, and it's our time to shine. Come on, follow us. All right, stroke boys, stroke, 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 toke, toke, toke. That's not great at all, actually. <laughs> look at it hop, look at them hop around like that. All right, so we're gonna save again. Save, not DP. I'll check my DP though, to be fair, since we're here. So we can't. Obviously, I didn't expect there to be part of the party, so we're gonna check the DP stuff. So we got I thought a thousand to give, so we're gonna give. No, none of that. So we got about a thousand to expend later on. <laughs> Look at that hop, hop, hop. Alright, Mr. Boat Boys, you ready? We just got this the greatest boat ever! You'll get on this, of course, right? Yes. We're ready to go. <gasps> this episode's just been full of great music. I just want to point this out. <gasps> the bridge! Look at that! See, this town does have some perks being in this in the next century. As long as they weren't jerks yet, but they're helping us out. People are coming a lot more friendly. Hopefully, that's what I would want. There's Oso oh Hey Castle Walls. I never want to go back there again. I know I missed something there, but whatever. It's done. It's in the past. I'm pretty sure I can't get it now. Nor do I want to even check. I'm done. No, no more of that. <laughs> but um, whoa, what's up, those frogs? There's so many! Oh, it's like a little amusement ride. Also, how did you slide like that? But there we are. <gasps> a little suspicious. Hello, Mr. Frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. What? <gasps> is that a giant frog? Oh my god, it is! Are they making a frog bridge for us? Oh, that's cute. That's cute, isn't it? But let's see, we're in the map. So we're over here. We, I don't think we've actually been on this area before. Maybe? So... So we're going back to the Magip's house, right? So I don't remember where that exactly is. Where's maps when you need them? Where is that bugger? What's this? Hello? I'm a lizard. I don't show you which way direction you need to go. Round and round and go. Where I stop, soon you will know. All right, lead us the way. I've, it's been a long time. Oh. Oh. It's that way. It's that way, eh? <laughs> okay. So, I guess this is where we're supposed to be going. Across the river to the magic house. But, uh, you know what? I just wanted to play with the frogs a little bit. Maybe I should have picked up that item box. I don't know. But we're gonna save again because I am complied. I, I am required to save every time. So we're here at Aeolia's house. Hopefully everyone's okay. The magic is fabulous, really. I don't want anything bad to happen to them. No, we're not gonna take them. We're not dipping in the hot spring. We didn't do any fighting. Oh. Hello? Where's everyone else? Oh, what happened? 
Why aren't you wearing many makeup, Aeolia? Ionia? It's no time to be silly, Aeolia. I was attacked. So I rushed you to see if you were all right. I'm just fine. I'm as lovely as I always am, hearts. But never mind me. Why don't you untie that rope already? Unless you want to play a little bit later. Oh, shut up. Shut up, Pixel. But oh, I was in such a rush that I never noticed. What a shock. Lucas, can you untie me now? Unbelievable, you have no sense of courtesy. I thought you liked it, to be fair. It was a good look for you, Hoppy. Oh, look at that. Nice green dress. Oh, and who's this fine figure? Oh, why that's me without makeup? I'm sexy even without makeup on. Oh, oh aren't you, aren't you sweet? Oh, just one second. There, all done. I'm pretty again. Oh, please don't lift that leg. Yuck. You can keep that lipstick. Indirect kisses with other girls aren't my thing. Oh, what is this even going on about? Oh, I have a bad feeling. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? B movie? Oh dear. What is happening? Just a lot happens up there. It's just the dialogue. Oh. It's all pink again. Oh dear. Uh oh. Well, that can't be good. Wow, it's a lot of shaking, I just gotta say. I'm not ready for whatever this is. <laughs> Unless it's a good thing. Oh! Aeolia! Oh my, Aeolia! Your body! Your body! Your body! It's starting to disappear! Oh my, oh my, oh my! So it is, I'm disappearing! I'm disappearing, but oh well. But does that mean what? What is happening? What is that? What is that? The needle in Osahe Castle had a protector for so long. Someone has pulled it. Someone's able to pull the needles has finally appeared. The Dark Dragon Seal- what, what is this? Is this Fire Emblem? For the Seven Needles will awaken. Oh my. You can get into the courtyard of Osei Castle's underground path if the needle has been pulled. I will vanish very soon. But it would be wise to know who pulled it. Someone with a dark heart? Or someone with a light heart? The answer to that may change the fate of the world completely. Ooh. So today is the day I disappear. Aeonia. What's your name? And Doggy. Bye, me. Oh no! Aeolia, you are an open hearted person. That's why we got along so well. Okay, let's follow the underground path to Osei Castle's courtyard. With that, I think we're gonna end today's episode. That was. that was a lot. That was a lot of story, but uh, until next time, it's Pixel Bloom, and I'll see you guys then. Bye now. Ciao.